when he first messaged me, he'd said like, nice eyes. And I was like, eh, boring. We met the old fashioned way on the internet. We met in high school. We met on set, actually. He was my director. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ooh, tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> You're just a mystery, and I wanted to figure out what that mystery was. <laughs> I would say it was his music that really sealed the deal for me. She is very compassionate and open and, uh, and challenges me. I think he's just so confident and very down to earth. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> what do you think would be Morgan's ideal Valentine's Day? A ticket to Paris. <gasps> An Airbnb with a hot tub and... Hot and, tub. Uh, Key. Helicopter ride over a volcano in Hawaii. Nice. Done. Is there a worst gift you ever gave you? For my birthday, he gave me a decanter. You haven't used the decanter yet, but it's, it's still pretty in the living room. I one time surprised her with flowers while I was at work. They didn't even last 12 hours. No. They just died. What was the best gift Anna ever gave you? The trip to Palm Springs, complete with uh, an architecture tour. The PlayStation 4. Yes. It's a great way for me to make sure that he's at home. I can keep an eye on him. Mary Beth got me a jacket. I love it. I wear it every day and I'm warm. He gave me a heart necklace. Yeah, it was really cute. That was definitely my favorite. He's like the guy that already has everything he wants or needs. It would have to be something really thoughtful and, and not like too material, I think. Is that, am I right? You're, yeah, partially, yeah. No, nope, not right. One of the best gifts he's ever given me was actually an album. This is something I'll have for the rest of my life and something that I can one day share with children. Gross, sorry. Um. 